I'm going to make a quick demo app to to show how you can jump randomly between screens when you're in App Lab on Code.org. So what I first want to do is design some screens to jump between. I'll do that here. Uh, first I want a label to tell me what screen I'm on. By default it goes to label 1 and since this is screen 1 I'm going to leave it alone. Just put a number 1 there and I'm going to come down here to font size and make it large. That looks good. And then the next thing I want to do is a button down here that I can click to randomize what screen I'm on. So I'll grab the corner and make it larger. And I'm on screen one and it defaulted to button one so I'm going to leave the ID alone. And I'm going to change the words to randomize. And we'll make them larger as well. And we'll just change the color here. That works. So screen one has two elements, a button called button one and a label called label one. So I need some new screens if I'm going to jump randomly between screens when I click that button. So I'll make sure that the screen is active and I'll duplicate and I'm going to do that a few more times. Make sure the screen is active and duplicate. So now I'm up to screen 4, they all look the same so far, and I'll do one more. So I'm at screen 5. So screen 1 is already done, I'm going to go to screen 2 and change the label. It already has the ID of label 2, but I'm going to change the text to 2. And the button already has an ID of button 2, so I'll leave that alone. I'm going to go through and do the same thing on the other screens. Change this one to 3 for screen 3. Change this one to 4 for screen 4, and 5 is the last one. So now I have 5 screens, and each one tells me where I am. And those are good enough. Now I need to go over to the code. The first thing I want to do is create a variable that holds all the names. Excuse me. Need a variable that holds all the names of the screens. Actually, I'm going to pull this one that has the quotes. Um, use the other one for numbers, and this is going to be names. So we're going to call this uh, screens. And the first one is screen1, all lowercase. And notice when you add extra fields, you have to put the quotes in yourself. Okay, so now whenever this button is clicked, I'm going to grab an event here and say whenever button 1 is clicked, we want to make a new variable to randomly choose one. And we'll call that index. And we'll give it a random number between uh, 0 and 4. And the reason we're doing 0 and 4 is this is the 0 position on this list. This is the 1 position, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so once we have that position, we want to set the screen. This is the hardest block for me to find every time. There it is, near the bottom. Set screen. And instead of setting it to one of these options, one of these screens, we want to set it to a random screen. So the way we'll do that is to backspace that out and backspace out the quotes. And then we're going to set it to uh, right here. We're going to set it to screens, which means something from this list. And then square brackets. Notice there's a zero there, zero is here. If I put a one, it would be here. But instead of a number, we're just going to put index, which is whatever this random value is. Okay, let's try that and see if it works. Okay, let's reset it and see if we get something different. Okay, so that's working. Notice only button 1 has functionality and button 1 is only on screen 1. So if I'm on screen 5, nothing happens. So what I need to do is take the same code. I'm going to select it like that. And I'm going to hold down Control-C to copy. And I'm going to come down and paste it 
So now I have it in here twice, but this time it's going to work for button 2. So now button 2 is randomized. And I'll just do that again, copy and paste for button 3, for button 4, or for button 5. So you'll have one of these little events for each button. And if I'm doing this right, then it should randomize no matter which of my screens I land on. One, two, three, four, five. I've seen every number except for four. There it is. Looks like it's working.